Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're finally in my new house. This is the first video I'm doing here. I'm just playing around with like backgrounds and lighting. So let me know what you think about this little background. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Janessa and I like to do nail tutorials on this channel. Every week I like to bring you at least two videos, either doing poly gel tutorials or unboxing reviews. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. But today we are going to be doing the highly anticipated SXC Cosmetics Butterfly Series. Like look how cute this packaging is. Whoever is at XSC and you're in charge of the packaging and stuff, I just want to let you know you're good at what you do. So in my last video we did the XXL nails and I promised you guys we would do some short nails today. I'm excited to finally do some short nails on my channel. It's way overdue. If you'd like to see what's inside this kit and watch me do some short nails then please keep watching. Bye! <laughs> Okay, let's get right into this kit. You guys know you can purchase this on Amazon if you'd like to. Thank you again to XSE for sending me this kit. So we're going to open it up and start with the instruction manual. You guys can pause this if you'd like to read it. We get a really nice dual ended nail brush and spatula. Then we're going to open this up and underneath here we're going to get a pack of butterfly nail stickers a pack of nail forms, a um, 180-100 grit nail file that is bent, broken, don't understand that. We get a pack of dual forms and some fun butterfly little thingies. Then we're going to get six different um, really cute 3D butterfly rhinestones. So cute. And then we get a top coat, matte coat, and a base coat. And this kit also comes with a nail lamp. It says rechargeable power supply. I got this same lamp in the other kit I got for them. So I'm not sure if it's rechargeable. It has a 30 second and a 60 second timer on it. It's really nice. I can tell it's really good quality. Um, you just press the button and then it also has the self hand timer in there. Let's do some swatches. So starting off with these swatches, I loved them. I was like, wow, these are so beautiful. Um, I was just really impressed because sometimes with jelly, it can be like hit or miss, you know? So I think they were so pigmented because they came, because I was using this white papered background. And then when I put them on my nails, they were like see-through. Um, yeah so just remember that you know when the swatches are kind of like misleading sometimes because they are being done on a white background but here are the colors without being cured and then i'm going to cure them and here they are they're so cute so here are my natural nails i already did my prep i will put a video in the just in the cards if you want to see how i do my prep after i do that i'm going to apply a thin layer of base coat um, I'm going to cure that and then this is optional. I love the Beatles nail strengthener. I do a thin layer evenly on all of my nails after base coat. I then cure that and then it's like an extra shield on your nails. So I finally got my E-Nail Couture full cover XXL nails and I'm going to use them today. I wanted to show you guys the comparison of my AliExpress XXL square nails and I basically waited three and a half months for the exact same nail. Look at this. The only difference is that the AliExpress nail had like a little piece of the plastic on the tip, but identical, you guys. I am pretty sure that all Inakator products are just a scam, so... <laughs> Okay, so here I have all of the full cover nails laid out. I'm going to be using my Kiara Sky A Press Dupe One Two Three Go Nail Little Lamp. Um, we're going to be doing the Lazy Girl method today, as you guys can tell by the title of this video. Um, I promised you guys short nails, so the way to achieve it um, with the full cover nails is you can actually just cut them, like 
really cool, huh? You could just literally cut the nails to whatever length that you want. Obviously, I know these nails are way too long for most people, but you still want full cover nails. And if you don't want to pay $20 to Enoch Couture, then go ahead and go on AliExpress. These are linked in the description. Purchase these, they're like four bucks and you get them in a week. You don't have to wait three months and they're literally the same product. Um, you can do a press dupe with these. You can do the lazy girl method. You can do whatever, you know. Um, they are soft gel nails. So I got them all cut down to the length I want and then I'm going to apply a thin layer of base coat in each of the nails. And then I wanted to add some glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some glitter wherever I want that. And then I take my little flashy lamp. Um, I actually have like one of the lamps that you, or one of the flashlights that you use to like find cat pee in your house. It's literally the same, it's the same like UV LED lamp. So I just flash cure that and then I'm going to apply the poly gel in the nail. You guys will see like this yellowish color was the only color that really like showed. Um, I don't know, it was weird. Like all the other colors, they were like see-through. Like what the heck, SXC, come on. You guys have like the best products. You guys are like amazing. And this kit was so cute. I feel like, um, I feel like like the whole butterfly thing and the packaging and everything around it was such, was so cute they did such a good job with everything except the pigmentation is just not really there for me but it's all good i think these still came out cute i'm glad that they uh added the 3d butterflies because that just made it so yeah i literally do the same thing on each nail you guys um i was not inspired like once i started putting on these colors and i could see that they were see-through i just my inspiration went out the door. I had like this whole look, you know, planned out and then these colors just didn't do it for me, but let me know what you guys think. Um, before I did this set, I did take a practice nail and lay down a thin layer of white gel polish, cured that and then went on top with these and it still did, it looked even worse. So don't, don't put down white before you do this because it looked terrible but it you know it's all good i know it's i know like these this butterfly theme is not halloween it's not fall but i still think it's cute girly i'm in the mood for butterflies anything like that all year long so i'll take it <laughs> So if this is your first time seeing this lazy girl method, it may seem very strange to you, but rest assured, it's actually awesome. Um, whoever created this, I know that there's speculation between Femi Beauty and other people, Other uh, some other people saw it done before her. Um, whoever created it though, regardless, is genius. If you apply it correctly, these literally can last you up to three weeks, uh, just as normal as you would do a regular set, set of nails. Um, but the difference is, is that you actually apply the poly gel inside of the nail, kind of like, well, no, not kind of, exactly like how you apply a dual form, except when you apply the full cover nail to your nail and cure it, you then don't remove the full cover nail. It actually stays, it's part of the extension. Um, the reason you do it, it takes the uh, mastering of sculpting the nails out and it's faster. So I have all the nails applied and then you can see now, like I said earlier, I wanted to make them a little bit more um, pigmented. So I go in with each color again on top of the nail. Usually with Lazy Girl Method, you don't do this. I would usually just be done. But because these colors were so like see-through i wanted to go over them with the with it again just to see if i could make it pop um each nail is literally a different color if you can tell <laughs> and then also this kit did not come with a slip solution that's literally the only thing it didn't come with so because of that i am using the beetles a slip solution in a bottle i've actually really come to enjoy the slips in a bottle 
um, rather than the liquid one. I don't know, it just, it works for me. All right, so I need to cap the nails. I'm going to do that with the Acra Gel. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I went in with that color on top of the nails again, like I said, to make it more pigmented. Um, because I did that, I have to cap the nails with clear poly gel because I have to go and file the nails to make them perfect. And if I didn't cap them, I would then file the color away. So I love the Savvy Land Acra Gel. It's, it's a lot like the IBD Hard Gel that I usually cap my nails with. Um, I just wanted to use something different, so. After that's all cured, I'm going to wipe off the sticky layer and then we're going to file. Usually when you do the lazy girl method, you don't have to like as file as much as I'm doing, but as you guys saw, I applied extra color and I capped the nails on top of them. So I have to go in and file as you normally would, but with lazy girl method, you don't always have to do this. Like the point of it is just so you can kind of put it on and go. So here's the shaping. You guys know I always love the filed shape. It's my favorite look. So after your nails are all done, we are going to do, going to do the finishing steps. First, I apply a thin coat of base coat to all of the nails and I cure that. Then um, one of my subscribers showed me this trick. You um, apply the rhinestone glue to all of your nails. Don't cure it. Then you're gonna go in with top coat and apply that on top of your nails. Don't cure it. And then you go in with your rhinestones or in this case, I'm using the 3D butterflies. And then after you have those placed everywhere, then you cure it. Um, the reason is, is just like your rhinestones hold so much more like better. Um, and then you don't have to like go in with rhinestones with a uh, top coat cure, go in with rhinestone cure, go in with more top coat cure. Like it just makes it, you know, better. And then I'm going to top coat underneath all of my nails. That's because when I do the laser girl method, it's sticky. So I just top coat it to seal all that in. And now I'm going to apply my cuticle oil, rub all that in, and then we're going to be done. Um, I know these butterflies were a lot, but I wanted to just kind of go crazy, put them all over. So I hope you guys like them. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for getting to these videos. I love you all more than words can tell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.